Welcome in this tutorial. We are going to handle the setup of a PME. Before starting, we advise you to download the last version of the PME SWT DTM. You can download it from the SCAME website www.scheme.com. Once the DTM is downloaded, unzip it and click on Setup. Select your language and follow the installer's instructions. You can now launch Unity. The program will inform you that the DTM catalog is out of date and will ask you if you want to update it. Click on Yes. We can now plug the PME SWT on the rack, fix it and plug the load cell. Then you can power on the installation. We will now come back on Unity and we will launch a new project. Select your main unit and the rack. Set up the connection with your PLC. Here I work on Ethernet. In configuration, double click on PLC bus. A window with a representation of your PLC is displayed. Double click on the Ethernet port. The Windows communication add appearance with different tabs. Be very careful in this page. A bad configuration could prevent all communication between the M580 and the PME. In the tab Security, Enable the services FTP and TFTP. In the tab IP configuration, fill the IP configuration of your system. In the tab RSTP, set the bridge priority to root. In the tab Service Port, check the Service Port is enabled. Have a look to the other tabs to be sure they match with your project. Close the window and save the modifications. If you want, you can build the program and transfer it into the PLC. In the PLC bus windows, make a right click on the slot on which you have installed the PME SWT and click on New Device. A new window appears with a list of devices. In Third Party Products, choose the PME SWT. Click on Yes when Unity asks you to confirm the modification. The PME SWT is added to the rack. In Tools, select the DTM Browser. Double click on the M580 DTM. The CPU configuration appears. In the Source IP address, select the IP address of your PC. If you are working by Ethernet like me, or choose the USB address if you are using the USB cable. This is very important to communicate with the PME. Close the CPU window and in the DTM browser select the CPU DTM. Make a right click on it and select Add. Then look for the PME SWT.
select it and click on add DTM. The pop-up properties of device appears. You can change the alias name of the PME SWT. Validate when ready. Double click on the CPU DTM. A line with the name of the PME SWT has been created. Select it. In address setting, fill the address of the PME. It must be on the main network of the M580. If it is the first module added on the M580, the default address IP is the address of the CPU plus 2. We will now change the identifier of the PME SWT. Be extremely careful with it. We will change the MX80 underscore 01 to MX80 underscore your real slot number. Be very careful if you mismatch the slot. The PME SWT will never communicate with the M. 580. For my example, the PME SWT is on the slot 2. I apply the modification. Now we had to rebuild the entire project and we need to transfer it into the PLC. Now I will send the configuration to the PME SWT. For that, right-click on the PME DTM, select your device menu, then select Additional functions and click on Transfer to FDR. The system will say you OK and then it will inform you that the PME SWT needs to be reset. Validate it. After a few seconds, you will see the PME SWT reset and the LED run will be lighted in green. The PME and the M580 are now well communicating. The PME is now ready for calibration and application settings.